In this video, we are going to review how to answer a short answer question using the CER strategy. A short answer question is a writing prompt that requires a thoughtful, paragraph-length answer. If you're required to write multiple paragraphs, such as an essay, then this strategy would be useful for each of the paragraphs that you will be writing. You might be asked to write a short answer response following reading an article, a poem or a short story, or even a drama or a longer work such as a novel. Whatever the text is, you're best prepared to answer it once you have read and annotated the text. The first step to a successful short answer response is good understanding of the text that you've read. There are several different strategies you can use for responding to short answer questions, but the one we're going to explain in this video is called CER. The strategy doesn't tell you what the right answer is. It's merely a way to help you remember to include all of the important information needed in your response paragraphs. It's a way to make sure your answer is thorough and complete. Using the CER strategy will remind you to state your claim, provide evidence to support your claim, and share your reasoning. These three components work together in a paragraph. You will want to start your paragraph out with stating your claim, followed by two to three sentences of evidence to support the claim, and you will end the paragraph by sharing your reasoning. Let's look at what this means. We're going to see the parts of the strategy at work by using an example from The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein. This short story is about two characters, a little boy and a tree. And on the very first page of the story, we read that the tree loved a little boy. The story goes on to show us many examples of things the tree did for the little boy as he grew into a man. Throughout the boy's entire life, the tree gives selflessly to the boy, and we read that doing all of these things made the tree happy. So a short answer question about this story might read something like this. In the giving tree, how did the tree show that she loved the little boy? And in this response, we're going to use the CER strategy to construct our answer. The C stands for claim. You will start your paragraph by stating your claim, which is what you believe to be true. It's your big picture answer to the question. It helps to use the wording of the question as a sentence starter, and you always want to include the title of your text as you start your claim. So our prompting question was, in the giving tree, how did the tree show that she loved the little boy? So we will start out our answer by saying, in the giving tree, the tree showed that she loved the little boy, and now we're going to complete our claim. Before I know what my claim is, in other words, how I want to finish answering that sentence, I need to brainstorm some possible ideas. You can use a pencil and paper to make a list of all your ideas. In this case, my ideas might say things like, she gave him apples, she missed him when he was gone, she was happy when he was happy, she gave him her trunk, she gave him a place to sit. These are all things that happened in the story and are things that I might want to make my claim about. I notice as I look at my brainstorming that there are three different things I wrote that deal with giving. So for this example, I'm going to construct my claim around the repetition of the giving that the tree did to the boy. So the completion of my claim is, in the giving tree, the tree showed that she loved the little boy by always providing him the things he wanted for his happiness. The first part of my claim is including my text title and restating the question. And the second part of my claim sentence completes the idea by giving my answer to the prompting question. Other words for claim might be your thesis sentence or your main idea sentence. Everything that follows in the paragraph will support this claim sentence. But making a claim is not enough. 
Next, you want to provide text evidence from the story and then explain your reasoning to support your claim. Evidence refers to something directly from the text. It can be a direct quote. You can paraphrase something that's happened in the text, meaning you put it in your own words, or you can refer to a graphic feature or an image in the text. But your goal is to find something from the text that will directly support the claim that you made. Here are some possible sentence stems that you can use to start out this part of your paragraph. Take a screenshot or write these down and use them to help you as you start to provide evidence in your paragraph. Here's how this could look in our example. For example, in paragraph 7, the boy asked the tree for a house. The tree does not have a house, but she responds, you may cut off my branches and build a house, then you will be happy. The boy took the tree's branches and built a house. You can see there that I took an exact example from the story and included it to support my claim. The final step in the process to make sure that my paragraph is complete is to provide my reasoning. Reasoning means that I'm going to make it clear to the reader the reason I chose the evidence to support the claim. Basically, I'm explaining myself. And to do this, you will use what you know, meaning your background or experience. You will make common sense or logical statements that support the evidence and claim. Or you may even refer to a personal experience that supports the claim. Here are some sentence starters that might help you remember how to do this. Take a screenshot or write these down to help you. Here's how this could look in our example. I know from experience that my mom loves me. One of the ways she shows her love is by taking care of my needs. The tree does the same for the boy. By giving him the things he needs, the tree is happy and is demonstrating her love. You can also think of it like this. The reasoning tells how the evidence supports the claim. They work together to make a complete and well-rounded answer. Anytime you're asked to give a short answer response, make sure and proofread your paragraph by going back through and making sure you have all of the components to make sure your answer is complete and thorough. Thanks for watching.